Today, a historic achievement in space travel. NASA's rover Curiosity touched down on Mars in what scientists call a miracle of engineering. So just imagine the complications of actually bringing humans to Mars. Well, one South African-born billionaire is looking to do just that and more as early as 2025. Here's ABC's David Wright. Astonishing new images of our closest neighbor in the solar system. Sure, they're not quite the stuff of Mission Mars, as imagined in 1968. Not quite Ray Bradbury's Martian Chronicles, either. This is a wondrous moment. Is it? But these images are real and new. From NASA's most advanced and expensive Mars mission to date, Curiosity, a $2.5 billion robot the size of a Mini Cooper that dropped down to the surface last night. This is all built uh, pretty much from scratch. Here on Earth, there are real the people already the planning the logical next step. I think we'll be able to send the, probably the first people to Mars in roughly 12 to 15 years. That's my estimate. Meet Elon Musk, a high-tech executive who recently entered the space race. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Accomplishing a feat so difficult, only the United States and the Soviet Union and China have ever done before. That is, developing a spacecraft capable of taking a man into orbit and returning him safely to Earth. Elon Musk did it with a rocket he designed himself. What was inside? Well, our, our biggest payload actually was a wheel of cheese. <laughs> Musk has big plans for Mars. Not just taking people there, but making it possible for people to live there. We know it's possible to get there. The question is, is a much more difficult one, which is, can we make a trip to Mars affordable for the average person in the United States? And what's affordable? Well, uh, bear in mind, you, are, you would be moving to Mars. So it, it, it's, um, I think affordable it has to be no more than half a million dollars. So roughly, say, a middle class house in California. Wow. That is a long way from actually making it occur, but I know it is possible. Elon Musk made his first billion creating PayPal with his brother and in the process virtually created internet commerce. With his PayPal proceeds, he proceeded to found Tesla motor cars and Solar City companies now at the cutting edge of renewable energy. And he created SpaceX, a sprawling rocket design complex not far from LAX. In the most recent Iron Man movie, the vast SpaceX Research and Development Lab served as the backdrop for billionaire Tony Stark's company, which is kind of appropriate. You're Tony Stark. In some respects, uh, I'm a bit like Tony Stark. Do you fight crime in the off hours? Um, Not yet. <laughs> well, there's no comment on that. Musk even has one of the Iron Man costumes, a gift from the director. Don't you want the future to be one where that, that sort of thing actually occurs and, and isn't always a fiction? Absolutely. And you look at movies like 2001 and think, what, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Right, no, exactly. He wants to bring Silicon Valley ingenuity to a process that until recently has been something only governments do. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Musk may have been born after JFK was long gone, but he's inspired by JFK's vision. To you, the idea of not only traveling to Mars, but colonizing Mars isn't just a, like, wouldn't that be cool idea? But to you, it's a real possibility, something that maybe yes. you hope to see in your lifetime? I, I do. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm confident at this point that it can be done. I mean, I think it would be the most difficult thing that humanity has ever tried to do. Uh, I mean, think about it, for four billion years. Earth's been around for four billion years. And in all that time, it's been confined to one planet. I mean, that is a long time. And now, for the first time in almost four billion years, it's been possible not, very difficult, but possible for life to extend to another planet. And, and we should take advantage of that opportunity. Four, three, two, one. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Los Angeles. Mm.